Grace and blessings of the Lord be always upon you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 28th of October, the Holy Mother, the Church, celebrates the feast of saints, apostles, Simon and Jude. Very little is known about these two apostles, but it is sure that they were with the Lord for three and a half years that they ran away when Jesus was crucified like the other apostles. But once after his death, they came back. They did the struggle. They underwent the struggle. Then the Spirit came upon them on the Pentecost day. They went to alien land, foreign land, unknown places, proclaimed the gospel of Christ and died as martyrs martyrs for the kingdom. Dear brothers and sisters, today's gospel speaks about Jesus choosing the twelve. But one aspect on which we will reflect today is that Jesus prayed, prayed before taking this decision. Jesus, God, the Son of God, God himself, prayed before taking the decision. So many decisions we take in life. To whom should I get my son married or daughter married? Where should I build my house? Which car should I take? So many decisions we make. Do we pray? Pray before we make that decisions. What the, the prayer we make? The prayer that we make during these decisions should be surrendering our understanding to the Lord. Lord, according to me this looks good, but we surrender this decision to you. Surrendering our decisions to Lord in prayer. Prayer defined by saints says that it is raising our hearts to the height of God. Raising our hearts from all that holds back our heart from getting to the Lord, plucking our heart out of all these things, taking it to the height of the Lord and there encountering Him. That is prayer. And that's what Jesus did before every decision. One of the twelve was Judas. But the decision was made in prayer. Therefore, through Judas, whatever happened, it was the will of God. Jesus' decisions were not wrong because those decisions were done in prayer. Let us look at our decisions. What do we rely more upon? Our relatives whom we think will give better advices? on our own wisdom knowledge, the pride of knowing things of the world. What are we deciding? Looking at what are we deciding? So dear brothers and sisters, today two lessons for us. First, good God called the apostles, send them forth. So he called us, he is sending us forth. He is sending us forth into the vineyard. And second, our good God before selecting these apostles pray. So we too are called to pray before taking any big decision in our life, any big, any small decision in our life, we should pray. Prayer saves us. Prayer will become like a parachute when we are diving into the realities of life. It will protect us. Prayer becomes like a lifeboat, saving us from being drown from drowning into the problems, difficulties of the world. It will keep us afloat. Prayer protects because 
in prayer. We seek the presence. We seek the permission. We seek the will of God. Amen.